Welcome to Hoffman's Hot Seat. I'm Tom Hoffman with One to One Media, coming to you from Pega World 2011 here in Orlando. And joining me today is Steve Krauss, who is Senior Director of Product Marketing CRM for Pega Systems. And today Steve and I will be talking about how BPM, Business Process Management, can be applied to um, customer lifecycle management. Steve, thanks so much for joining Great. us today. Thanks, Tom, for having me. Good afternoon. So, and good afternoon to you as well. You. So, how can BPM be applied to customer lifecycle management? How can it be used to help uh, make improvements in those areas? Sure, Tom, great question. So, I think what a lot of companies have struggled with is when they're trying to manage the customer across the life cycle, whether it's from marketing, through onboarding, sales, service, retention, cross-sell and upsell, really what they've struggled with is each one of those separate pieces of the life cycle has been its own small process. So you think about the vision of the customer, you basically have a separate vision of the customer for each of those small processes. And so companies have struggled with, well, how do I really mine the full value of the customer that's in my organization and really over the long term deliver something that's meaningful to them and maximizes the profits we get from that customer. So what BPM does, specifically for the customer life cycle, is it applies it uh, a bit differently than what traditional CRM folks have done. Traditional CRM folks are very much focused on that interaction. So what, what does the screen look like when you see me? Channels, but very independent channels. I can email you, you come to my website, but they're not connected. And then when each of those groups try to connect sales to let's say to service, when someone comes to you for service, they don't know what was offered to you, when and how. It's like a brand new customer. So what BPM does is it really puts the customer at the center of that process. So it says whether I'm selling to you, whether I'm marketing to you, whether I'm making you an offer, whether I'm signing you up, whether I'm servicing you, keeping you on board or selling you more, it's all about the customer and one process that flows across. And what it does is it eliminates silos. So now, because I put process at the center, and knows what is the best channel to use for that phase of the life cycle and for that specific customer. It does the same thing with the data because traditionally we've been challenged with, I have all this marketing information. I have all this information about you and I'm servicing you. I have all this information spread across every product that I may or may not sell you or do business with you. And what BPM does is actually connects that together. So now I know everything about you and I can deliver it over the right channel at the right time that's most appropriate for that interaction. Okay, great. So what do you find are the uh, key challenges that decision makers face in executing uh, customer life cycle management programs? Yeah, I think so. Uh, a few of the challenges I hit on earlier was there's a lot of silos and historically it's been a technology limitation. I have individual data sources, I have individual applications that are servicing uh, sales processes or servicing service processes and I have silos of channels Either I can't deliver them today or they're silos. And then the other big challenge is from a metrics or a measurement perspective, people have really focused on the very deep metrics. So in the call center, we focused on average handle time, we focused on first contact resolution. And in marketing, we focused on offer conversion. So really what we've done now is say, well, if you're going to be successful at managing the customer life cycle, you need to understand how you're treating that customer from end to end and move your goals up a notch, elevate your goals, so you really start to talk about customer value, or customer lifetime value, and really, again, how much is that customer worth to you over the long term? Okay. Uh, Steve, can you cite examples of companies that Pegasystems has worked with that you feel have really done an exceptional job in this area? Yeah, that's great. I think your time is great, Tom, because Pega World 2011, we have a lot of customers here telling their stories. So, uh, J.P. Morgan Chase, in fact, was telling their story this morning, about how they're measuring their treasury operations and putting the customer at the center, regardless of channel, regardless of geography, regardless of where they are at that life cycle. Uh, Carnival Cruise Lines is another one that's talking today about how they treat you before you get on the boat, while you're having that travel experience, and then after, when they want you to come back and cruise with them again. I actually just sat in a presentation this morning with the Mayor Group, and they very much talked about how do we talk to you about uh, not only servicing you uh, across channels and so the nurses that come to your house actually have an iPad 
And so it used to be, I would just talk to you about what they're treating you for, now they're giving you a risk assessment to really understand how to treat you better in the future. So in that example, not only do you have across the customer or the patient life cycle in this case, but you also have it across channels, and they've unified all the disparate systems, which was a challenge before, to actually be able to manage you across that life cycle. Interesting. Well, Steve, thanks for sharing all this with us today. I Great. appreciate it. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate it.